All right. Don't worry, guys. I know Tony's audience. I'll be brief. I know you're all gasping for a line. There they go. <laughs> be solar. Don't worry, people as know as well. I, I am aware of what I look like. I wasn't aware of what I looked like until I moved to Liverpool. I now live inside of Liverpool. And uh, I get shouted at in the streets. People say things like, Hey! Tall Jack Black! <laughs> and I think to myself, do you know what? That's probably the nicest thing I'm going to have shouting in the streets of Liverpool today. And I'm the boy's correct because the next one is always the same. It's, hey, fat Dave Grohl! Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Gone from a tall, nacious D to a food fighter. Jesus <laughs> Give me a cheer up here a couple tonight. Nice, 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 nice. You, a couple of them? Yeah, how did you guys meet? School. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, either nice or, like, nonce. Uh, uh, but you met IRL, so, like, that's cool. Like, a lot of people meet on uh, dating apps these days. I was talking to a couple the other day. They met, get this, on a vegan dating app. I know, scoff. Here's the thing is, uh, if you're not sure what this, uh, this app is called, any vegans in, by the way? Nope. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, that's not to say there isn't any vegans in. They might just be just so, like, malnourished. <laughs> I want to tell him, but I can't. <laughs> I had tofu twice today. I just need some protein. If you're not sure what it is, it's called Vegily. That's the vegan dating app. It's called Vegily. It's in eventually. You might meet someone. That's the thing is, if you match on a vegan dating app, uh, can you meet? Don't worry, guys, that's the shittest joke in my act. <laughs> you know, this is a good sign. Here's the thing is, I've, uh, I had health issues for 10 years. Thank you for your sympathy. And uh, the reason, because you can't get a doctor's appointment for love nor money. You got the Prosecco left, that's lovely. Oh, you shared it without you, do, so you, do. you can't get a doctor's appointment for love nor money these days, so I, uh, I did my own experimentation. It turns out the reason I've been having these uh, dastardly health issues is because I am gluten intolerant. And don't worry, I'm not about to fucking tell you all about it. Like, we've all just had like that Christmas season where your, your Auntie Sharon has come round. She's like, oh, you can, is that gravy gluten free? I'm, I'm gluten intolerant now, you know. I was like, oh, Sharon, you're not just intolerant of foreigners now. <laughs> Gluten as well. Hey Sharon, put the Daily Mail down just for one fucking second. This is the thing: is uh, the gluten. So I thought, if there's a vegan dating app, because it makes sense. You want to arrange dates when you go on these dating apps. You're both vegan. You go to a vegan restaurant. So I thought, maybe, just maybe, there's a gluten-free dating app. So I put into the app store gluten-free dating app, and the result did come up. It said, "Kill yourself." <laughs> but I didn't. Thank you. There's lots of, um, like, well done, you guys, but like, uh, like our man said from Leeds there, well done for coming out and actually doing something on a Tuesday night, just not standing, sitting indoors, just fucking watching Netflix or going out to fucking revs. Like, you've actually come out and done something. This is really good because comedy is, comedy is weird right now. You're like, you'll get some really, really big comedians. Like, who's your favorite comedian, mate? Oh, <laughs> We gonna fuck tonight. Even on my videos, that, uh, they, they do get released by, by hot water and stuff like that. Some of the jokes are edited out, but that's an in-joke that you don't know anything about. But uh, so, so there's some, even on my videos, they'll say, they'll get, they'll, you'll get comments. You'll get nasty comments from a certain generation of people who'll say, not funny, it's just supposed to be funny, not funny. The comedy's dead. It's not like it was back in my day. And don't worry, I've done the research for you guys. Uh, comedy in the 70s, here was the highlight. It was a puppet with a zip for a mouth, <laughs> trying to convince an oddly sexy pink hippo that it didn't do a fart. <laughs> I don't quite think that we've actually peaked in the 70s. And these are the same, same generation that'll turn around to my generation, our generation, they'll say the reason that you can't afford a house is because you watch too much Netflix. <laughs> and you eat 
avocado on toast and drink chai lattes. And we all know that's not the reason that our generation can't afford a house, isn't it? Yeah. Cocaine. Yeah. Cocaine is the reason that our generation can't afford a house. Do you know that the UK does more cocaine per head than any other country in the world? That sense of pride that we're all feeling right now, guys. I know, I know, I know. There's no bad ideas on coke. I know. I know. And, uh, you know, I, I, I used to do it. I used to do it. I, I still do, if anybody has some. <laughs> Here's the thing. It's, uh, I, I used to... <laughs> I used to, you know, and I, I still think, but like, the, the, this is why I stopped doing it, I stopped buying it, and here's the reason why, because uh, I came up with a plan one night, because if, uh, if people who aren't aware of this sort of thing, you'll be about seven pints in in the pub, and you'll be feeling pretty good, pretty merry, pretty merry about all things, and then you'll get a text message from a legend. <laughs> and the message will say, three for a order. <laughs> And you'll look at that with your seven pint adult brain and you'll go, yeah. what a fucking bargain. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you, it's not the, quite the bargain that you think it is, guys, because here's what happened to me. I came up with a plan, I hatched a scheme, if you will. I'm gonna buy three bags for 100 pounds. I'm gonna do two, I'm gonna share, but I'm gonna do two. Then I'm gonna sell one to an idiot for 80 pounds. <laughs> Thus, essentially, doing my cocaine for free. <laughs> I went out, had a good time, I blacked out, I woke up in my bed, checked my bank balance. Somehow, I'd taken out 180 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Even girl math ain't math in all that one. <laughs> yeah, comedy's changing, there's all sorts of things about now. Uh, you know, there's people who think... <sighs> Because it's all about trauma, you see. Any, any comedian that you see on stage has probably suffered some trauma in their life, and people who come to comedy nights have also suffered some sort of trauma. Some people are currently experiencing their trauma right now. <laughs> but this is the thing, there's people who want comedy to change, there's people who want comedy to have safe spaces and trigger warnings, because they don't necessarily want to face their trauma head on whilst they're coming up for a night of entertainment. Then there's other people in the world they don't give a fuck, and they want to fucking face their trauma, and they want to fucking just come in its face or something, you know what I mean? And say, fuck you, trauma. I've been doing comedy for a little while now. I personally believe there's room in this world for both types of comedy. Don't we agree? Yeah. Excellent. With that in mind, here's a list of things that I think are gay. <laughs> Are we all getting this, yeah? Seven ninety nine. that cost me. Number one of list of gay things. Not supporting trans people. <laughs> See, now you don't know what to think. There's a person in the back of the room with blue hair just spinning right now. <laughs> what do I say? What do I do? Do I cancel it? Do I not? Here's the thing is that I went to school in the 90s. Give me a cheer if you went to school in the 90s. You'll remember, just this side of the room, that's weird, you all grew together. If you went to school in the 90s, you'll remember, if you sneezed the wrong way in the classroom, the whole classroom would turn around and call you gay. <laughs> Teachers could be so cruel. <laughs> and I think that's why it took me 34 years to finally come out as bisexual. <laughs> Don't cheer, that's gay. <laughs> Here's the thing, there's like, you know, there's a bunch of reasons, like, I, I, I pretty much mainly come out to comedy audiences, I've not come out to my parents yet, because quite frankly, it's none of their fucking business. Uh, you know, oh, mum, yeah, it turns out dicks are delicious. <laughs> it's not something I want to have to. Here's another list of gay things, I'll quickly go through them. John Cena's recent Oscar appearance. That was gay. The length of rugby shorts. Rugby. <laughs> My boner when I'm watching rugby. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> and her. I, uh, I got something to tell you guys. I, uh, I've, uh, I, I've got long hair because, um, because of a reason. Um, I, and I get made fun of, not just in the streets, but in general. Um, the reason why I 
have long hair, it's not because I'm a hippie, I just, you know, it's a coincidence. <laughs> but what I do is I grow my hair long and then I cut it up and I donate it to a charity called the Little Princess Trust. Oh, don't oh, that's scary. Uh, I'm actually running a gig in the new venue on May 1st, May the 1st, in the brand new venue in Vauxhall over in Liverpool. I'm going to be upstairs and just around to like, you know, give you the QR code and sell tickets to it. We've got some fantastic comedians on. Uh, Ignacio Lopez, who's, uh, you know, he's been on the telly, Addy Fortune, Jojo Sutherland, a bunch of regulars here at this sort of club, and it's only five pounds to come and uh, support this, uh, this wonderful night, and all the money is going to the charity. And I think when I think about the main reason why I don't know my hair to the Little Princess Trust is mainly so I can tell people. <laughs> I'm not trying to say I'm better than you, Liverpool. Because I'm not. I'm a, I'm a filthy drug addict. <laughs> and I'll tell you one thing as well, that as soon as that kid has my hair on his head, he's never passing a drug test. <laughs> Tom Evans, everyone.